Alright, so next up is to navigate setup. So in order to navigate setup, I would like for you and me to actually open our trailhead playground. So to do that, can you follow me real quick? We, we're going to launch it from a link. So let's do from the, this next module, data modeling. If you click the show three units, let's do this one, create object and relationship. And if you open that in a new tab by clicking the command or holding the command or if you're on a Mac or the control key if you're on a Windows. And then while you're holding that button, click here. So it's opening on, on a new tab. And on this actual module, we're not going to go through this module. We just want to launch the trailhead. Scroll all the way to the bottom. So, and here you will have your trailhead playground, which is already linked from our first uh, module on the trailhead. Hit launch. So it's going to be connected and logged in. So that's it. So we're going to use this to go through the actual trail that we are going to do right now. So dive into navigate setup with the trailhead the trailhead open from there okay so let's dig into there navigate setup so basically we are going to be um, exploring the setup menu of the salesforce platform so we want to get comfortable and see um, how to navigate stuff because as an admin you will be exploring the setup quite often here okay so let's go ahead so what is the setup how can we get the setup uh, page here so from from here you click on the gear icon here the gear and hit setup it's going to pop up on a new tab and open the setup section so now we have the same matching um, page so on here on the left here there is a bunch of setup menus and sub menus which we won't go through all of it but it's already categorized into sections and don't worry as we go along and with time you will be familiar with most of these menus and what it can do if not all of it maybe not all of it it's a lot but day-to-day -day operations i'm um, running an an organization on the salesforce platform well most of it we will be touching so don't get overwhelmed just go along with it so this quick find can you know can give you a shortcut on on which particular um menu you want to go so for example if i type users here right i can hit users here so i can see the users right and if I want to know my company information, I, I type company and company information. So you don't have to go all those through all those menus and sub menus. So you can see all this stuff here and, and navigate along. So this is a very helpful search bar there. Okay, let's go through the trail again and go back here. So we, we, we have discussed the menu here and this is the, the main page. And there is an object manager here. Okay, what is the object manager? If we have we have touched before, um, the, uh, we can create new objects or containers. As you can see, do you remember we created the what student object? It should still be there if you follow along. See the student object and then with its field. So when you want to create new objects or manage current standard objects you can do so from here so salesforce out of the box have contacts accounts campaigns cases and we will go through all of that um, on the following courses but for now this is the object manager where we can manage objects create objects edit objects and so forth and let's go back so we have object manager we have the menus the never-ending setup menus 
uh, and we, you can search from the quick find box there and this is the actual main window where whatever you click it's gonna display here right and you can work on that so that's basically the main uh, three components there and you can get cozy with the setup menu so basically the actual setup menu here on the left if I go back to setup or home it's divided into administration as you can see and then platform tools and last settings so platform tools settings and administration sections so what are those well the administration is the category where you manage your users data right and you can uh, decide who gets to see what who gets what kinds of permissions and stuff like that platform tools is where you do most most customization of the platform manage your data model create apps modify the user interface like the page layout how how a page is being shown to each particular user so for example for the school environment if a teacher is logged in they're going to see a different kind of information if the principal is logged in they're going to see a different kind of information if a substitute teacher is logged in they're going to see a different kind of information if probably a student is logged in through the community they're going to see a different type of, of information that's called page layouts and stuff what gets to see what or who gets to see what and settings finally settings where you can manage company information security and and stuff like that so that's basically all in the setup page in the setup page here so don't get overwhelmed as as you can see that salesforce can do a whole lot of stuff so don't get overwhelmed this is just getting to know how to navigate on the setup section of the salesforce platform so that's that so of course um here you can see um yeah, there's only some pages you can access from or in the setup menu, like the company information, the users, the profiles, um, the setup audit trail, the login history, who ha who is logged in right now, who, who logged in last week, and so forth. So you can find all this from the setup menu as well, as i shown you, the company information, like I type here, company information, you can click there, and you can see your organization detail and all this stuff and what license the the, the the organization have and and so on and so forth right we're not going to go through all of it because this is just getting to know and getting familiar with the salesforce setup menu so let's do the quizzes as it's pretty short let's do it in one video okay you're just getting to know it so the company information page is where you can find what where we'll just we just we're just there the company information what can you see there so your org id this is the org id is a random string here salesforce.com organization id which is this one this is handy when you're asking support um, to salesforce or you're connecting applications between um, salesforce third-party provider and your organization they will need this id it's called salesforce organization id so this is where you can find it on company information under the setup page here okay so that's that licenses available and in use yeah we just saw that information on important limits such as data and file usage yep we just saw that so all of the above right what are the three main categories in the setup menu that we just discussed that what main category if i take this out we have what administration platform tools so administration platform tools and settings so administration platform tools and settings those are the three main categories that you can access from the setup page what is an easy way to find what you're looking for well i've shown you that as well you just do the quick find on the very top here for example you want to find what the uh, whatever like uh, storage usage you click there right 
that's helpful oh we have this kind of storage we have the limit here how much we are using so far in this trailhead playground and so forth so the quick find is the answer um, quick find box so that's it so hopefully now you're a bit familiar but with time and a lot of going back and forth on the salesforce platform you will get yourself very familiar so i will always recommend if this is a training on the job meaning you have a real access to a real salesforce org where you can use and explore it daily and just not a playground or a sandbox or a, a made up thing but an actual platform where you are working out working on right now that would be very very um, significant as a game changer because if you don't use it what you've learned you will lose it you will forget because there's many things going on in in our lives right so you might you might need to keep practicing and going back and forth all this menu but as we go through all these trailheads you will have a chance to go a lot of stuff together that's it and i'll see you on the next module